Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, everybody knows we've been keeping an eye on Planet X or Nibiru. Now, just yesterday, astronomers have announced there is a ninth planet. They're calling it Planet Nine. Now, there should be 10, but of course, Pluto was downsized officially from a planet to a dwarf planet. But and, and, uh, a decade ago, a man by the name of Mike Brown helped get Pluto demoted from a planet to a mere dwarf planet. Now, the, the astronomer and his Caltech colleague have plotted the orbit of a ninth planet in our solar system. And dramatically, it's larger than Pluto and much, much, much further away. Now, I'm going to give you an example of, of what we're talking about here. Let me just show you a graph because what they're saying is this, all right, you see where the sun is right there, and that circle around it, that would be the orbit of Neptune. And of course, the Earth is way closer to the uh, sun, and the Earth rotates or orbits around the sun uh, once a year, where Neptune orbits around the sun, in comparison to that, 164 years. Every 164 years, Neptune gets around the sun. All right? What we're talking about, and of course, all these uh, purple uh, objects, this is the uh, Cooper objects. The Cooper belt is what they call it, the Cooper belt. And of course, these are uh, objects that also orbit and come flying around the sun. And, they're, and, and of course, they're operating in a different, whole different situation there. And they're not really what we would say part of our solar system, if you will. But some people say, no, that's not true. They are part of the solar system. Okay. But planet nine, if this is the sun, let's go, and this is the orbit of Neptune, Planet nine is, this is its orbit, an incredible orbit. If the earth orbits around the sun once a year, and if Neptune orbits around the sun once every 164 years, planet nine, they say, will orbit once every 10 to 20,000 years. So in other words, this is probably the first time we're getting a comprehension that this there is even a ninth planet. It's just now coming into our uh, capability to even find it with the high technology and super power uh, telescope capability. We are now getting a glimpse of the ninth planet. Now, is this planet X? Is this the planet X that uh, astronomers and... and uh, uh, scientists have been studying for nearly 200 years. They've been searching for the mysterious planet X, Nibiru, uh, the dwarf star, if you will. And uh, is it's just now coming into play? Is planet nine actually planet X? I don't know. I mean, I honestly don't know. And I think if I asked Gil Brazard, he'd probably say no. Because according to Gil Brazard's calculations, there's been 14 manifestations or sightings that have affected the earth 14 times in the Bible where we've had, you know, whether it's Hezekiah's sundial going back 10 degrees or the, the sun standing up for a, a total of 24 hours without going down in Joshua's longest day or for 40 days, uh, you know, the prophet Jonah could point toward the heavens and say, God's going to destroy this city in 40 days, and they could see the sign of Jonah. These are just some of the examples. So if you take that theory that, of course, Gil Brazard, who has done a tremendous job in calculating, if you take his theory that he calls planet 7X, but he, he's just talking about the same planet, planet X or Nibiru or the dwarf star. If you take that theory then this ninth planet would not be planet X. This is a total different deal. This would be the ninth planet. But what scientists are already telling us now is that the, the, all of the planets in our solar system are being affected by this ninth planet or by something. Something is causing all of them. They're all under the pressure of a gravitational pull of an unseen object. 
And this could be why we're hearing about the five waves of energy. All right? Because of the total gravitational pull. Something is behind the source. Something is the source of the waves. Something is causing the heavens to shake. And it's actually in your Bible, folks. I mean, to be honest with you, it is in the Bible. I'm going to read it for you if you go into the book of St. Uh, excuse me, into the Gospel of St. Luke in the 21st chapter, the Bible tells us of a couple things. Here's what it says. In Luke 21, verse 10, it says, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in divers places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. Now, the same chapter, Luke 21, just scoot on down. Go to verse 25. Here's what uh, Luke says. Jesus said these words, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, and men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. So uh, th- what it's saying there is the heavens are going to be shaken. Is that your five waves of energy? And what's causing that energy? Is that your mysterious missing planet X, planet 7X, Nibiru? Or is it the ninth planet? And as these heavens are being shaken and as people are actually falling dead for fear of what's coming upon the earth, and we know the earth's going to get hit with an asteroid and a comet or or both in in the book of Revelation in chapter 8, verse 8, it says there's a deep, two two times it says there's two deep impacts. Well, they even call the second one wormwood, a star bringing radiation on the earth, which poisons all the water. And the first one must be an asteroid that hits in the ocean and wipes out a third of the marine animals and the fish of the sea and destroys a third of the ships in the oceans and kills a third of the, basically, folks, I mean, a ton of people on the earth. But here's what they're saying. Signs are going to be in the sun, the moon, the stars, all kinds of distress. Men are going to be falling dead for fear of what's coming on the earth. The powers of heaven are going to be shaken. But then verse 27, and then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, look up, lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. So while some people will be looking up and falling dead for fear of what's coming on the earth, others, Christians, will be looking up. And they will be in glorified excitement of the fact that the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, is coming for the redeemed. Is this the ninth planet? Planet nine. Or is this planet X? I'll be back with more current world events and how they are relating to Bible prophecy in just a few moments. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're right now time. I will be trying to find out from Gilberzard. Is Planet 9, Planet X, or is this two different things? Are you serious? Are you serious?